Okay, everybody's out trying to. I, I thought they said stay cool in your house. Everybody's out on the street. Oops, this is in the way. Yeah, there it is. Let me get this done. Okay, so. This actually is my first cucumber harvest of the season. First cucumber. But it's not the only one. There's another one. The first one before this one. I'll show it to you. Oh, it was on Zoom. First cucumber harvest of the season. I'll show you the other one. I showed you this in my garden update, which I'm finishing up now. But I did not take it because I was trying to get through the wire. But I think if I detach it first, I might be able to pull it through the wire. Yep, look at that. This was the first one I saw. The other one beat me to it. Of course, you got another one here. There's more coming. And of course, it's going to the top. So as soon as I get up, I'm gonna snip it off. My color little box. Color loose starting to go to seed, so yep, color loose starting to go to seed, that means they're getting old. I still wanted to transplant some of these, but it's too late now in the season. You can hear construction going on. Every year I'm gonna start pulling these red stems on. Every year they end up with those white stuff on it. Just the red stems one. So I'm gonna start pull those up and don't keep any. Over here have a tomato. I'm not sure what it is, it's a tomato. I just planted it here and I never had a chance to move it someplace else. One of my colors from um, my winter sewing. Celery, I have celery in here. Put the lid, I have to extend this higher now. I have celery and I have a bunch of onions I planted in here. Um, bunching onions and then my neighbor gave me some of these she said these were onions i thought what can she call them but anyway i have them in here i have to transfer I, when i had she gave them to me she gave them to me on a she just gave it to me on a, um she broke just broke off the top of the onion and she gave it to me so just planted so i'm gonna see i'm trying to catch them i had three one died so i'm gonna see what happened with that Over here, I had some another one of onions. I got it from the, over there. I guess it didn't make it. My oh, radishes. I harvested one or two, but see if anything happens. More onions over there. These I got from this. Give me a second. Now I got from this guy right here. This is what my sister gave me. And I had it inside the house and I brought it outside. So two of those, one is almost dying and the other one I got from this right here. Try to stay in order. I have a box right here with one more set to plant out. And um. Yeah, I need two hands. Tomatoes are inside. I have a thick little tiny fig tree in there too. But um Yeah, I need two hands to take that off. I have a humongous tomato over here. And at this point I haven't known their names. Some of them don't have tags anymore. But it's doing good. My eggplant, check this out. Nice. I'm gonna have to get this today to cut it off i don't think i can break it off but my eggplant i'm going to cut this off today harvest this today this might be a little bit too big and uh but in two days or so i'm going to get this one and of course my ginger plant is sitting right here all happy another tomato behind this right here and i have some thyme hidden right there i'm not doing the fruit trees i do the fruit trees afterwards because it's going to be too long oh I have a coleus sitting here. 
pretty color. That's a pretty one. Another eggplant sitting back here. Tomato. These are nice size. You know, I try to look inside so I see any tags in there. There's no tags, but these are nice, right? Peas again. Like I said, these I thought were runners, but they're not. So they're just dry. I'm going to harvest them when they're dry. And of course, my garlic is hanging on here. This is not all of it, but as you can tell, they're not that big either. I have more tomatoes right here. And more tomatoes over there. Two containers of tomatoes. I have another tomato right here. I'm not sure if I did this when I came in the circle like. And of course, peas. That's running all over the place. I, forgot, I was trying to get this. I need to. This was tangled on that. That's why this was supposed to be on this pole right here. It didn't make it on this. So I'm going to have to try. At least put it over there, get it out the road so it's not in the path. Just need water in. I need to put some water in that. And of course, my container of garlic chives in here. Garlic chives. And I have some color loo in the back. I'm going to cut those. They're not going to. I've transplanted them in here, but they're not going to do anything. And one or two volunteers, they're not going to do a thing. Okay, I did the peas from that side. Of course, I have another eggplant here. Color loo. This corn I already did. I already did these. Again, I had these on trellis, my mom peas. I thought they were runners, they're not. They're bush. Of course, this is where I'm drying my garlic. I have tomato and I have been around a lot, so you know, I, I'm, they haven't been taken good care of, but they're growing and they look like I'll be getting tomatoes. I have some onions, bunching onions in here. They're trying to do something. My another eggplant. You can tell I love eggplants, right? Another eggplant. I'm just here in the way. I know where to put it. I'm trying to get it somewhere. You can get some sun. It's in the way. I'm have nowhere to put it. I'm trying to get somewhere. You can get some sun. More tomatoes. The tomatoes are all crowded up in here. But I had them in a big container, so I could put a lot in it. My garlic that I have to harvest. I planted tomatoes along with them. And these guys are running. Look at this. So I have to come and get a steak for these because they're long. Look here. They're already hanging over the fence. So I'm going to have to get a steak to make them straighten them up. And get the rest of my garlic out. They got a little crowing right here. And look here. The cucumber tree that's right here. Carlos trying to hang on to it. One thing I did, I gave it a lot of branches. So she not have any problem finding somewhere to run. I gave it a lot of netting for it to run. And of course, there's nice color, um, nice color, a nice cucumber on there. I'm gonna get that on my way out this little circle. My circle got messed up because I'm trying to do it a circle. So tomatoes, garlic, gonna have to stake these. The color loo went to seed. So I'm gonna have to cut these off. See if it, any branch will, it'll branch out still. As long as it's not seed, not they're branching out, I'll leave them. As soon as they start to seed, cut everybody. So got some limbs down here. This is my watermelon thing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna have any watermelon because it's kind of, it's July, what, 15, 16? It's Monday, July, one of the two. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to get anything. But you know, I still got August, September, two and a half months. And they're just running up. So, uh, for this one, I think I'm going to start watching. And if I see anything that's set, I'm just going to limit how many can set on this plant. Over here, have tomatoes, all doing good in my. At these are, at least I had a chance to tie, put a stake some, you know, tie these up so they can just run straight up. That what I need to do to the other one. And I have a beet down here, a beets. I'm trying to get beets this year. I don't know if it's getting the sun back here, so I'm have to take this out. It's like lost back here. I'm have to take it out, put it 
get some sun. Maybe I should replace it with this guy right here. But this is pepper and a nice big color on this. And this one is not seeding yet. That's nice. So I think I need to put my, give my beets some more sun. It's not a harvesting video. I have a piece coming from, I don't know where, over, over here, from the other side. And it's trying to run to get to connect to that. I can't allow that. So let me just run it along this. Can't allow it to block my, block my path. I need to be able to get in and out, especially with the watermelon and the cucumbers back here and the garlic. So I'm just running on top of the garlic for now. Oops, camera angle, I tell you. 2024 and I still have issue focusing my camera in the right direction. Okay, my garlic I'm going to have to dig up this week. No doubt about it this week. And again, this monster cucumber. I left my clipper because I plan to clip this tall guy right here. I'm about to clip. Oops, oh, I'm not going too fast for you. Sorry. I'm about to clip him. It's too tall. Hold on. Oh, hold on. That's my clipper over there. Okay, so anyway, this guy's too tall. Oh, so I'm going to take the top off. off the top I hope that wasn't too dizzy for you sorry about that don't need to get in tall I'm top top this one off too don't need to get any taller and so as these guys start to get too high up I'm gonna go ahead and top them off okay it's a good thing I'm doing this garden up getting bits of oh, wait hold on hold on hold on It's a good thing I'm doing this garden update in bits and pieces because oh, so much traffic out there and noise. It's a hot day. We have a heat wave. So, you know the deal. Everybody's out. <laughs> 